Hi, it's Photo Mama again. The other movie that I was going to do <coughs> the other night, <coughs> I'm now ready to do. It's called The Shack. It's 2017. It has um, director Stuart Hazeldine and writer John for Scott um, and then there's five four more uh, main characters um, Sam Worthington Octavia Spencer and Tim McGraw <coughs> so for, for me I actually really like this um, I, I really like this um, movie. I didn't think I was going to, um, but um, when, cause I kicked it around a few times when I came across it on um, Fandango or um, uh, Netflix. I kept looking at it. I kind of had an idea what I thought it was about. I hadn't read the back of the book or anything. Because um, it, it comes from a book as well, I believe. Um, or even the back of the DVD to give you kind of the highlights of what this is. And um, I took to it really quick the cast was great even the kids they um, they seem like a close family unit and uh, the wife was a little bit more religious than the fa than the father that's Sam Worthington and they had three children. Uh, the boy was the oldest. Then there's a middle girl about his age. And then there's a little girl that's about five. And um, they show like the happy family thing going on. And they had flashbacks. Well, I don't know if it actually started the movie with it. But basically... We watched a little bit of um, uh, Sam Worthington's character as a child and what we saw him go through. And um, so he kind of already grew up jaded and or hurt by society in certain ways that it was it'd be very hard to to convince him that there is an, an entity out there that he could or should be praying to. So they had their happy life and he says in the movie we have our happy life until one day and then it switches over to him I don't even know how many months, six months, seven months over where it's nobody's smiling and it's kind of the uh, uh, melancholy family um, walking around and like depression has hit all of them and then he, they show um, a trip that they had gone on. The wife stayed home and the kid, three kids and the father, Sam, or not. Yeah. Getting me confused. Um, went to, uh, a camping location. So, 
Um, he kept saying it was a bad idea, a bad idea, and the wife said, no, I trust you, you can do it, take all three of them. And they packed up the camper, and they went, and when they pulled in or parked their spot, he realized that there was um, families like right next to him and stuff like that, that his kids would want to talk to, play with, and the whole message that I grabbed at this time was, this is going to be a book, um, or story, I'm sorry, like, um, the Lovely Bones, or the Lonely Bones, uh, book, where something, everything's fine, something goes wrong, and then they chase around and try to find who the killer is, and that's the end. Um, I don't rem or you know, and learn a lesson in that whole travel. Um, but they had um, basically when one child um, put the two of them in jo in danger um, in a canoe. They, he had to run out there to get them he came back and the little girl Missy is gone his five year old um, and the police and everything worked tracked him down that night and he was she, he found what was left of her and everything like at the middle mark so I didn't know okay is it done you know like usually um, I like the other movie the the deep blue ocean or the deep ocean um, with Michelle Pfeiffer that's another movie um, where everything's nice happy fine uh, goes to some sort of a reunion she has um, the kids stay against the wall and holding their hands because the youngest boy I think was about two and suddenly that day he's gone they start an investigation the uh, story goes back and like 12 years and somehow they found this boy again and it was a matter of trying to get him from this new family he was living with to bring him back to theirs so that was the quick view of a different movie again this movie the happiness and the finding of her took up less than half the movie so it actually had me, um, you know, stuck on it, and I couldn't, I couldn't uh, leave. I had to keep watching it. Um, it ends up being more of a religious, inspiring type movie. So because of this that happened and then he, he got a le letter in the mail and there's no snow in the footprints or footprints in the snow and he can't uh, I can't believe it's true so he goes over to Tim McGraw's house and, which just seems to be one of his best friends and accused him and then he said he's got to go back out there and um, inst instead of him going there with his friend like the or they arranged he left Tim McGraw there and he went back to the place of what happened and he went inside and it was just a cold old cabin which is where the girl was and he got angry he 
was kicking around or throwing things and beating up furniture. And then he walks outside and he sees a gentleman passing him with a bag and he said, might be a little cold in that one, come to mind if you want because it's much warmer. So Worthington kind of blindly led, was led to this place. Now it was summer at this place, new, new kind of shack. And it was beautiful and had all these kind of awe-inspiring decor. And uh, the um, gosh, I'm at 10 minutes already. The um, um, basically, he ends up learning and spending time for what seems like a weekend to him with Papa which is what their family called God specifically the little girl and so he doesn't want to believe it buy into it he's angry uh, at Papa so the story ends up all about kind of life lessons not judging people the type of hard decisions you're put in why it's hard for God to make certain choices or you know um, how he can let one person die but keep the other one alive so there's a lot of that it was kind of like a retreat and he even got to see his father the ghost of his father um, come out they come out at night and kind of uh, he was taken there by the uh, Papa Jesus and someone who was the she was like the calm and the emotions and the characteristics and um, embodied them but that she is that for all people and um, then there's a a judge or her name is wisdom and he went in and judged and that was where he learned what lessons maybe he might be wrong on then Papa helped him go down the trail and find where his daughter's body was and they wrapped it very nicely and put flowers all over her and it was kind of a very calming type type setting brought her back to the shack and when they he opened Jesus's um, workshop doors there's a little um, casket made with butterflies on top and um, so they placed her in there and earlier in the day uh, Mr. Worthington started helping dig a hole um, in this uh, I think it was a beautiful um, garden but before because of all the weeds it looked like a mess chaotic now that sh they buried her body there and sp sprinkled some tears on her she she was at rest and um, a tree grew wh where her grave was instantly and then even a little later Papa or God took her took him to look through a waterfall and then it shows her and she's running around and she's so happy and she's playing and she's laughing she can't see or touch him but um, 
her spirit knows that he's there. So she was extra happy. Anyways, now that I've made this a 15 minute video, the end part then, he ends up getting back home, um, gets in a car accident, ends up in the hospital, and they said, no, it's still Friday, what are you talking about? And he goes, no, this is what happened, this is what happened. And um, he was a changed man, his wife said she believed him, and um, he was very much involved in his spiritual side or religious side because now when they're at mass they're all singing together smiling gratefully and happy and everything so he tried to tell his story to everybody else it's not logical or possible but the trip that he made to stay with God for three days the lessons he learned changed him to a, man, uh, a new man and that's what the whole second half of the book or movie is about so I liked it some of the um, second half of the movie got me a few times um, there's a few things that made me feel confused let alone the character so, um, or certain questions I would ask, and, um, so there's reasonable things that are happening in the movie, but there's also things that I think are unreasonable and not likely to happen, and you get as much info as they think you need. So... I would give the movie a rating of a 4, I suppose. It depends how spiritual you are if you want to watch this. Um, it's a, kind of a heart jerker. Um, it might be kind of scary for kids. So, um, it would probably be best for you, a parental unit, to view it before uh, a child does, especially if you have certain religious beliefs. Alright, that's it for now. I'll be back in a little bit with a movie review. Thank you very much. Come back and watch some more.